Hey everyone, John here from War Jeepney and we are playing 100 Rice, 3 Idol Scenario, my Ito clan versus Irwin's nearly painted prefecture. <laughs> For my uh, Ito clan, I'll be using Isas. I have Ito Kino who is inducted into priesthood. I have the Izu Serpents, Q, Saburo, Yatsumata, my big snake, and a Temple Bushi. I'll also be running the Serpent Coil and I'll have a Dark Secrets event card. Erwin, however, is running the Grey Pilgrim. He has Matsu and Tenchi inside the house and he's got the three sisters here outside to the side. We have already deployed to our corner deployments and we will start with our initiative. So for the first turn initiative, <laughs> I made a 6, he made a, what's that, 1, and I will decide that he will go ahead and play first. So Erwin passes and I run my little snakes forward. He moves Tenji forward and out of the house. Isas runs forward into this spot over here. EG just walks forward, mm -hmm. not running. No, uh, just walking. Okay, just walking. Yatsumata just walks behind these boxes over here. Matsu uh, moving out right beside Tenchi. Q just runs forward over there, and the Great Pilgrim just walks forward. I use Isis to move from here and run at that place behind the boxes so he has cover. I'll just run Saburo forward 7.5 that direction. Tokens next turn, right? Yeah, so uh, who's that? Yan Jing? No, that's she. Okay, uh, the she just focuses and adds more key tokens and it's now my turn I'll just make my temple bushi run over that direction so he's activating Yan Jing the sister with the brutal bow and he's targeting Yatsumata so he needs a 6 to hit I'm behind cover so that will make it an 8 however I am a large base so drops it down to 6 so he needs a 6 on 3 range dice so six seven eight brutal nine so that's a base damage of three plus your damage roll base damage of three but that is a minus two so one and I'm tough so I don't take any damage okay Woo. lucky me uh, he will just move and take that idol over there so that is just a walk action. And Q is already exhausted. So Yan Jing spends an activation to reload, so she's now exhausted and it's back to my turn. And I will just move uh, Itokinu and let her walk around behind the snake. Then she is moving behind the boxes and then she is now uh, exhausted. That guy has six cents and reach. Am I correct? Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. I'll just make Saburo move forward over here, and that will now make him exhausted. Grey Pilgrim moving and moving into base contact to that idol, and my turn. Okay, so time for my snakes to move. I'll just move my snakes. I'll move the cobra up to five there. The other guy will get up to five over there behind that idol. And the boa will move up to five. Yep. Just go right behind this lantern over there. And my snakes are now exhausted and they all have the run token. So he activates Yishi and just waits. Just waiting. 
And for my turn, I'll move my Temple Bushi perhaps there. So my Temple Bushi gets to move five. So two, four, and five. I'll just move him right there. So Erwin uses his last pass, and for my last activation, I will move Itokinu around this way. And I'll still have my snake left to activate. So I make Itokinu run that way, and she's now exhausted. And Erwin has Matsu left to activate. He's got no more pass tokens. After he activates Matsu, I will have my big snake. To activate last. So for the last activation of turn one, I just walk my snake over here behind this other cluster of boxes and we will now start with turn two. And we're rolling for initiative for turn two. And I roll a three, he rolls a one. Lucky me, so I get to move first. So I move my little snakes out of the way. Uh, the asp just ran towards the objective. Boa just moved. The cobra moved all the way here to the other side, but it's not in three inches, not enough to do a poison uh, blinding spit to any of his guys, and that is my activation. It's now Erwin's turn. Erwin, being not so aggressive, uh, chooses to activate the Grey Pilgrim to turn the idol because he is working for the objectives and it's now. Uh, my turn. So I group activate my snakes. Uh, the two engage Matsu and my Cobra engages Tenchi and we'll have a melee exchange. Uh, my goal is just to disrupt him. I don't think my snakes will be surviving. So we are resolving the Asps first. I have zero dice. So I gain one dice. So he gains one dice. But I am striking first and uh, reveal. I'm one on attack. He's two on defense and one on attack. Which will probably kill my ass. I roll a five. He has a seven for defense blocks. And for five damage, that will surely kill my snake even if he rolls a uh, double one. Next, we'll resolve the boa. So the boa uh, does not, didn't run. So I have one dice versus Matsu's three dice. Oh, Matsu only has a base attack of two. Yeah, sorry, two. So my one dice versus Matsu's uh, three dice. And the Matsu was turned, but she's six cents, so uh, no surprise there. So let's go. Okay, so he's got one attack, one defense. I got one attack. Let's see what happens. I make a 2, he defends with a 4, deals 4 damage to me, so make a damage roll. If you roll double ones, then my snake might survive. It's uh, dead. <laughs> but at least I was able to uh, exhaust uh, Matsu. And now we resolve the snake versus Tenchi. Uh, Tenchi's not surprised and he has reach, so uh, Tenchi will be striking first with three dice. So I'm going on defense, he's all attack. I make a two, six, seven, eight. Uh, doesn't even have to roll for that anymore. Snake is killed, but I got his back turned and he's now tired. So he activates Yan Jing to shoot my big snake over there. He rolls a total of 8. He needed the 5, so he's dealing 3 damage to my snake plus the 2d6 damage roll. Actually, 4 damage because it's brutal. So, 4 damage that at minus 1 deals 3 damage. I'm tough, so I take 2 damage. So, the snake takes 2 damage. Uh, I maybe should have not moved Q over there at the back, so I'll have to move him forward. So I'm going to walk him around that way. He spends an activation to reload Yan Jing. Yan Jing is now exhausted and it is my turn. So I walk Itokina into the water and I'm going to use her Contagious Poison key feat 
against these models over here and we will have uh, opposed key tests for them. So for the opposed key test, uh, he is uh, using Grace of the Kami but you can only use it on one person. Before rolling dice for any test, yeah, so you have to choose uh, which test. So which particular, this one on Tenchi. Yeah. So I have willpower plus one because uh, I have key over there versus Tenchi's two dice. Let's see. I have a five. He has a two, so plus poison five. two and stun. Uh, I have a three. Yeah, but I still win, so uh, still poison two and stun. And then next for uh, Yiji. Poison two. Poison two and stun. And then now for Yiji, two dice again. I have, uh, so she resists. I have a four, five, six, six plus one, seven. Next, I will target the bow girl. Yes, six, seven, and resisted again. And the last, the spear girl. I have a seven. He only has a six because one scout. So spear girl has poison two and stun. And Itokino is now exhausted because that was a complex action. I wonder if it was worth it, but we will see. So she spends three uh, key and thus warn sisters to give the bow girl an activation token. Uh, she hasn't activated yet, so she didn't benefit from that. So he's probably going to use uh, that bow girl to make another shot against my snake. So it's now my turn and let's see what I can do. Okay, so I move Isis over here to engage Tenji. He has reach and dodge. He is stunned but he bought dice so it's his three dice versus my three dice and we'll have a melee exchange. So I'm going all on defense. He is all on attack. Okay. I have a 5-6. He has a 5, 6, 7, deals 1 damage to me. So 1 damage plus your uh, d6. Uh, that's just 1 damage, so Isis gets uh, 1 damage. That is Yiji, so Yiji moves and engages Isis. And we'll have a melee exchange. I am currently uh, ganged up, so I am down to 2 dice. And Yishi has a base of 3. We'll see what happens. So I'm using all on defense. He's going on 3 dice. Uh -huh. On offense with combo attack. With combo attacks. So here we go. I made a 7. But he fails. I believe you have prowess. You can reroll the that one. Yeah. <laughs> and it's still a 1. So uh, misses. Tough luck on that combo attack miss and it's now my activation uh, however Isis is now exhausted so I move Yatsumata over there and uh, we'll now have a melee exchange she has one, one dice but it has dodge uh, don't forget you yes. have dodge nice. while I have faint I'll go combo attack full attack and if I have a six seven eight and a four you have a four you can reroll one of my dice with the okay. dodge. Yeah. Yes. You'll reroll my six. It becomes a two, so now I am a seven. seven. Versus four. Versus his four, and you know what? Yeah, let's reroll that four. Let's see what happens. Let's see if I'm lucky. Three. And becomes a three. So it's my seven versus his three. I have four damage. He's got yeah. armor two. Uh -huh. Wait, not yet. I'll still have to roll my. So armor two. I have a bite of plus one, so dice minus one. So still deals 4 damage to him, so he takes 4, Plus poison two. and the poison 2, and I'll do a combo attack for 2 damage. So 2 damage, dice minus 1 is 3, 3 is a minus 2, so I deal no damage to him. So not as impressive as I thought it would be, but I dealt 4 damage and poison 2. And. Yatsumata is now tired. So he's activating Yanjing to shoot my big snake. Uh, that's at the short range band. So we'll only need a 2 to hit me on 3 dice. Brutal dice. 
six, seven, eight, so deal six damage. Uh, brutal. Seven damage. Uh, five is a. But you have a bow plus one, so deal seven damage to my snake. I'm tough. So deals six damage to my snake, and I believe it's still alive. So I'm activating my snake again because he might kill it now this turn. And I'll make it attack Tenchi and we'll have a melee exchange. Using again my offensive head with feint, I'll go all attack, combo attack. He's got one defense. He has a dodge though. So I have uh, six, seven, and eight. Do you have dodge? Will you ask me to reroll the six? Asking me to reroll the six with his dodge. Still a six. And with my feint, I'll ask you to reroll your six. Two. So I am dealing six damage to him. Dice minus one. So still kills Tenchi. And Tenchi's killed, and the snake is now uh, exhausted. So he's activating EG and attacking me. Uh, I'm exhausted, so I'm down to two dice. This is my dice. And he's going all red. Anything, any declarations? Combo attack. Combo attack it is. I roll a four. He also rolls a four, so dealing... Oh, there's a... Oh, wait a minute. That is a six. So he is dealing two damage to me. Two damage plus your dice. That is an, an eight. Uh, sword plus one, I believe. Yes, so that is a 9. So deals 3 damage to Isis, and Isis is down to 1. And your next attack at 0. 0. Yes, next attack at 0. So 0 damage, dice plus 1. And 0 damage. So Isis is still alive. I'll activate my Temple Bushi and go into base contact uh, with the idol right there. And I'm done. So Erwin uses his pass token and I will just activate Saburo over here to go into base contact with this idol. And Saburo is now tired. So the Grey Pilgrim rotates. And it's doing a call lightning on my giant snake. So, needs a six to hit my giant snake. I'm covered by the the lantern over there, so it gives me cover. And what did you roll? Uh, I rolled a seven, so it deals one damage to my snake. And then plus your damage roll. Uh, okay. Oh wait, are you doing? I'll oh. do the raging. Stage. Okay, we'll do the raging rage. So does damage roll to me does one damage but I'm tough so does a deal any damage and you are using Raijin's range and who are you targeting next uh, is targeting Isis over there but I'm engaged to easy so there's a chance that you'll hit your own guy okay so go ahead uh, need a five to hit three uh, yeah on three right yeah on three Uh, that is a hit on a six, but before you roll, you have to see if you hit your model instead. So you need to roll a range test. Let's check that out. Yeah. Yeah. So range test three on three dice. Uh, I mean range test six, and he makes it, so he hits Isis instead for one damage. Uh, two d six damage roll and yep Isis is killed he only has one life left so he's dead so for my activation I'll just use Saburo to turn the idol into my favor and Saburo is now exhausted and he only has uh, she left so what are you doing with she on uh, one activation yes uh, she will just uh just run. She will run right there yeah. to get her that extra inch. 
but can't really go near the snake. So she has ran and I have my activation step. I will turn, use my temple bushi, turn that my direction and I will just move Q forwards somewhere there. So I just moved Q from here, uh, five inches over there and it is now the end of the turn and I win uh, one VP because two idols are face my direction, one idol faces direction, and Erwin will decide which idol disappears. Okay, so he selects this one, so this idol is gone, so we're down to the last two idols over there. So she takes uh, poison 2 damage, and with my theme, I can give one of my models. Uh, key because uh, she got damage and I'm giving it to Itokinu. So Itokinu is now at three key, one for the damage and generating two this turn. And we're now rolling for turn three. And I make a six, Erwin makes a six, re-roll. I make a five, he makes a three, so I have initiative again. So I'll activate my snakey snakey here and go around here. And I'll go and engage uh, Matsu. Right there. I actually could have moved around here too, but okay, that's fine. So we'll have a melee exchange. Oh yeah, but before that, scratch that. Uh, start of the turn, I'll use uh, Dark Secrets. And this model here must make a key challenge test 6. If it fails, it gains a control marker. So, 2d6, you need 6. And it's controlled by me. It's one control marker. And I have it for one activation. And for my activation, so I do that. I move my stick around there and we'll have a melee exchange. So, I'll be striking first. Two on defense. I have, uh, use, I'm using my offensive head. So, feint and combo attack. So here we go. I have a six, seven, eight. You have, have a. a four. He has a four. I'll use my feint to reroll that four, please. Need to be lower. Still a four. So I'm dealing a base of four damage. I can reroll my one. Uh, he may reroll his one with prowess. Uh, so prowess first. If he had prowess, you should reroll that first. Two. And it's still a two. So you're now a uh, 5. So I'm dealing 3 damage to you. So that's a base of 3 damage combo attack. So first one, uh, that is just 3 damage. Yeah, 3 damage and poison 2. And this is on 1 damage. 1 damage and another poison 2. Activation and makes Yan Jing Reload her very deadly bow, and it's now my turn. So I'll activate Q and engage uh, Xi over there. So I move. I'll go right here. Okay. And we'll engage, and we'll have a melee exchange. So he spends three key for impenetrable defense. I spend all my key, all six, to gain me two extra dice. And we'll make now our melee exchange. I am all on attack. Two defense, one on attack. I have to kill that. So impenetrable. So impenetrable defense will remove my six. And you have a prowess melee. Oh yeah. Yeah, up to you. So defense of six. I have a five, six, seven. I'm dealing one damage to him. I think I'm going to die. One damage, snake minus one. One damage. But you get the poison too. P2. And you deal five damage to me plus uh, 2d6. That's total of six damage because she is uh, strike minus one and Kiyu is killed. This game isn't going my way. That's what happens if uh, you have bad placement at the start, which I do admit I did have bad placement at the start. And it is now Irwin's turn. So Irwin decides to pass and it's now my turn. So I wonder what I'm going to do. Uh, 
that is less than one, so EG has no choice but to go uh, near her if I were to activate EG now, which isn't good because it'll go back to his side. So I'll just activate. Uh, I'll just activate my snake and go ahead and attack Matsu again. Okay, so here's my dice. Two on defense. I'm going again. Combo attack, all attack, offensive head with feint. I have a uh, he rolled double once, he may prowess one, which I will faint. It depends. Rolls a three, and I won't faint that anymore. Three versus an eight, so I'm dealing five damage. Uh, five damage, so Matsu is killed, and my snake is exhausted. It is crucial now what he does next. So he still has the Grey Pilgrim there, still a formidable fighter. Um, Hasn't even activated yet. This is under my control. Uh, she is tired, and Yanjing is also tired, but her bow is loaded. So let's see what happens. So Yanjing is moving. <laughs> Not within one of this or that. And a spent key to increase his dice pool. Shooting me at four dice. He needs uh, four. I'm large. Two. I'm covered by the lantern. So uh, back to four. And uh, that's pretty much it. Oh, but you also move, you're not lightweight. So you need a five. So you need a five. Uh, I have. Six, seven, eight, so three in. Three damage in. Uh, you're brutal, four damage in. Four damage in. <laughs> you rolled the... Uh, you rolled the four, because your bow is plus one. And then I have... So, but it's still enough to kill. Uh, even at minus two... It ha even at minus uh, two, that snake is still killed. It's down two life. Tough. Won't help it either. The damage was too high. So my snake, boo -hoo -hoo, is dead. She is still there. So if I activate this model, I have no choice but to uh, go into base contact. Yeah, so I'll go ahead and do that. Turn around and fight. Uh, make her fight her sister. And we'll have a melee exchange. So, I am, so I'm using Yiji. And I'll go all attack, combo attack. Versus uh, all defense, three dice, three dice. I am using her prowess to reroll this. When I make a six, so I'm a total of seven. I defense of eight. I can prowess this one. Okay, so she has uh, prowess also, but you already defended with an eight. Ah, okay. Yeah, that's that's I already missed. So that is it, and exhausted. She is exhausted, and this one is tired. Okay. And she's now back under your control. It's now activating the Grey Pilgrim, and Grey Pilgrim has a move of five, and now gets closer there, and it is now my activation. So I'm moving Itokino forward. Making a range attack against uh, Giji, surprise attack. So I need a five, surprised. I need a four. And will I buy dice? Uh, no, no need. So four on two dice ranged. I make a seven, so I'm dealing three damage. And my sorcery is plus one, I believe. Let me check. Sorcery is plus one. Uh, that is six, seven, eight, nine. So another one damage. So total of four damage to uh, Yiji. So four damage, yep. And Itokino is now tired. So Yiji is getting angry and is moving into melee Itokino. See what happens. Kitokinu, I spend uh, three key, all her key, and I increase my dice pool. And are you spending anything for I your 
nothing. Okay, so I'm going two defense, one attack, going all on attack. Look at that. And uh, that's a uh, six, seven, and eight. So dealing six damage to me. Okay, but it is fresh, so let's see what his die roll yields. Yep. Itokino is killed. Uh, she's now exhausted, so I'll use Saburo and charge. So charge all the way there. So I spend the uh, key. I increase my dice pool. Do you do anything? No? No. So two on defense. She's exhausted. I have yeah. all on attack. And sidestep defense. Sidestep defense. I have faint. So I have a four, five, six. Uh, I will faint that. Uh, do your rerolls first, because you have prowess melee. Are you going to reroll anything? Uh, no. No. So now I'll faint that six. And it's a two, so it's now a five. So I deal one damage. Four, five, six. Yeah, one damage. And I have charge, so I have plus two. Saburo sword. It's a plus zero, so dice plus two. So I deal one damage, exactly one damage, but that's enough to take her last life. So Yiji is killed. So we also didn't show the fear test there, but for the fear test, uh, Yiji rolled two fours. So she needed the five, so uh, she was not frightened in that melee exchange. And it is now Erwin's activation with the gray Pilgrim left to activate and right now I am at the losing side because these are still three formidable fighters although uh, one will die, the one with the spear will die of poison at the end of the turn but I am still outclassed by these two but let's see what happens. So Erwin is activating the Grey Pilgrim and is moving towards my Temple Bushi to make a melee attack and it will now have a melee exchange so I spend three key and increase my dice pool to four uh, Grey Pilgrim has also spent uh, three key to increase her dice pool to four and let's go uh, do I have any special moves here for the Temple Bushi? no that's crap I also can't, couldn't have activated my Asp Strike because Grey Pilgrim will still strike first and he makes all on attack, risk reward. I'm going two defense and two on attack. She has dodge though. So I have a defense of seven. Makes an attack of five, so I actually block. So you have dodge, so you can ask me to reroll this four if you want to. Yes. Okay, so we're rerolling the four. Becomes a two, so I'm dealing a base of two damage plus plus one. So you get three damage and poison one. That kind of worked out for me. Well, not really a choice. I'm already engaged. Uh, you can't wait, so I'll activate my Temple Bushi mm -hmm. and go ahead and strike. I can't really use key to buy anything at all. Uh, Grey Pilgrim is exhausted, so you're down to two dice. Can you buy... No. So down to two dice. And yeah, let's go. I have three dice. Yeah, so Erwin's thinking, contemplating on what he will do. My dice is ready. Both on defense, all on attack. I have a six, seven. Uh, you can ask me to reroll this because dodge. Uh, this one was a one. That kind of sucks. Four, five. So she blocks it. And that's the end of turn three. Yeah, so end of turn three. Uh, the sister here, she dies with the two poison she got. So it's now Yanjing and the Grey Pilgrim versus the Temple Bushi and Saburo. So Grey Pilgrim also gets... Uh, poison from the poison one. She's now down to two life. And we'll roll for initiative. I make a two. 
Erwin makes a two, we'll re-roll again. I make a three, he makes a, what did you roll? Six. Six. So Erwin goes first. Okay, so it all boils, it all boils down to this. Uh, he spends an activation to reload. She can't turn because uh, reloading is a wait action, not a move action. I will activate, activate uh, Saburo and surprise her. And she has to roll for a fear check, so fear of five, but two uh, d6, two d6, needing a five, and it makes it so not afraid. You're sniping first, right? Okay, so he spends three, dice pool is now increased to three, I spend also three key, dice pool is increased to four, I go one on defense, three on attack, goes all on defense, but I have faint. I have a six, seven, eight. He has a six, seven, eight. Faint that six, please. And it's now a one. So he now has a five plus one. I can be, can I be roll six. my prowess melee? Yeah, okay, so he had prowess melee, but uh, he decided to just stay. And then I asked him to do the six. faint, and then the six was rolled and becomes a one. one. Yeah, so it's now a 6 versus an 8, so I'm dealing uh, 2 damage. So my sword is plus 0, so just 2 damage on Yanjing. And poison 1, please, because I still have 1 Blood of Orochi on Saburo. So Erwin activates the Grey Pilgrim to attack my Temple Bushi. I can't spend anything, uh, I don't have enough. He spends one to increase his dice pool to four. Four. Okay, here we go. Risk reward, I have two defense. One on attack. I need the high defense. Darn it, there's a one. I roll a five at least. Six, seven, and eight. So we're dealing three damage to me. So three damage plus your spear plus one. So dice plus one. So total of 4 damage. So my Temple Bushi is down to 1. Down to 1, takes 4 damage. And I deal 2 damage to your Grey Pilgrim. Uncontested 2 damage because he rolled all on attack. And the Grey Pilgrim is dead. dead. Risk reward. So I now have a chance. Activating now my Temple Bushi, I will make a walk action. Five inches gets me there. She will not be surprised though, but she will be uh, ganged up upon. So you're exhausted and ganged up, so you're down to one dice. It's uh, ganged up and exhausted, so it's down to one dice. And I have three dice to play with. I will go all on back, of course, he's now on defense. I make a 6, 7, 8, I have a two. rolls a 2, so I'm dealing... Uh, I'll promise me. Yeah, go ahead. So dealing 3 damage now, only 3 damage. Uh, 6 is to... Uh, 8 is to 5. Minus 1, so I deal 2 damage to her. And she lives <laughs> one with 1 life. Okay, and... This model is now exhausted. Uh, she's also exhausted and I'll try to use now Saburo to try to take her down. Okay, I'll go all on attack. Got defense. I am four, five, six. Are you going to pro us anything? You got a six? No. But I will faint that six. Three, so I'm dealing three damage. And unless I make a bad roll, so uh, she's now killed, yeah. That's the last damage. So I win, but uh, almost lost there due to bad activations. But I win with uh, one VP, which I won during the uh, second turn. So that's the game. And it was a nice and close fight against the sisters.